Alrighty then, it's time for a Jungle Nunu game. Let's get this show on the road. What's going on? And yeah, it's just so fun to be able to play a method where I learned how to do so. So by getting my ass kicked a lot. And if you still haven't figured out how to play any champion you want, head over to UGG.com to help yourself learn a champion's builds, matchups, and synergies while also being able to look at the builds the pros are using. It has even been upgraded recently to feature the current best champions for each role in solo queue, so you can encourage yourself to learn these new flavors of the month or ban them so your opponents can't get them. Or, you know, your teammates in case you don't trust them enough to have gone to UGG to learn the champion themselves. Yay! On a serious note, it really is a good tool that gives you all the information you need to get a jumpstart in understanding your champion's strengths and weaknesses and what you need to do to amplify those strengths and mitigate those shortcomings. Anyways, let's get the show started. So they try to invade me to no avail, and I start out red buff, and I wanted to sort of gank at level 2, but my echo pushed out immediately, and bottom lane is kind of risky to gank, so I just kind of went for my blue, and then tried to invade Nocturne. So look at their team comp. Their team comp is extremely mid-game. Technically, they're pretty good early game too, but I figured they're gonna, they're gonna try to win in the mid-game, or again, that's their best chance to. Uh, and by the way, this gank, I screwed it up really hard. I should have just immediately started pummeling him rather than using my snowball because I should have used my snowball to, you know, close the gap on him and try to hit him a bit more. But anyways, I get the scuttle crab, which is a huge boon to me. And then I gank bottom lane, which I would say is a pretty good gank. It hits both of them. I catch the thrash and then Zyra comes in and forces him to use his flash. Pretty good. Anyways... Like I said, their team is pretty mid-game, so I have to make sure I control the early game and and make sure they uh, they achieve their mid-game way too late or extremely weak. Like here, again, just I have to do these routine, just roundabout ganks. Constantly go for the enemy and make sure they don't achieve anything. Nunu, uh, old Nunu, was able to do this rather easily by just doing the whole absolute control thing. But the new Nunu, or at least the uh, more recent Nunu, it has to achieve it through control and ganking since his uh, control is far weaker than before still though it's very much achievable and it can really help out it just sort of means you kind of have to rely on your teammates to follow you through because Nunu really doesn't have the power to kill most ca characters by himself he kind of has to rely on setting it up for his team so that can be really stressful in solo queue luckily though most players seem to understand that when the minimap shows a humongous snowball coming your way it's time to set up a kill Anyways, I was going to gank Darius, but, you know, gangplank wouldn't help me. But then Darius goes into this bush for whatever reason and puts himself in an extremely bad spot. Because at that point, he had to basically crawl to his tower. And I was just going to lock him down and kill him. So that's pretty bad of Darius to have done. This also opens up for me to invade the enemy jungle. Even though the Nocturne goes down bottom and kills somebody, that just sort of let, tells me, you know what, just take this entire thing. And again, that's pretty good because kills aren't really worth as much as your farm in the beginning of the game. So the Nocturne is going to be set behind quite a bit, though I know my teammate is also set behind. I steal his most relevant uh, monsters, leaving him only the small chickens. Then I go to gank Darius since I was able to sneak up from behind him alongside the Echo. And I just kill him in my one of my favorite ways as Nunu. Just like, fart. And then he dies. I probably should have shared that kill, but I don't care. I'm Nunu. Everything belongs to me. Yeah, at this point you can see, just Nunu becomes extremely tanky very quickly. So most things won't really punish you or kill you, and you can just kind of run around and be a menace. It's kind of not fair in some ways. Anyways, I go down bottom line again. My snowball doesn't really hit anybody, but it puts me close enough to just kind of, you know, ream them forward. So I got super lucky there, by the way. If Misfortune hadn't died, the Nocturne still would have had vision, and he would have been able to jump me to finish me off. And again, look at that. Look how quickly I went back to full health. It is absolutely ridiculous, and it does have a lot to do with the runes I'm taking. You know, Revitalize is, is the, uh, one of the key runes I have. Essentially, like I said earlier on, I couldn't make Nunu work out. It took me getting my ass whipped several times by several Nunus and just figuring out what they were building for me to pretty much change how I played them, and it didn't do much better. So, the other thing too is this game is actually going to present an opportunity to take a uh, small difference in item builds. Also, for whatever reason, they thought this was a smart idea because it puts uh, Nocturne in a really bad position and he just tries to run away and he gets chunked down by an ultimate that was only charged like one-fourth of the way. Just now imagine what it would be if I fully charge it. 
But yeah, I catch the Thresh, pummel him, and then Echo kills him. It was just kind of a really bad decision from them to try to fight that. At this point, they need to respect the amount of space I control in team fights and the amount of damage I can do if they ignore me. Okay, and that's always been one of the new news things in which you you don't want to target him, but you got to control him, and you know it, it essentially reduces your combat effectiveness tenfold. So. Yay for me. The only the really bad thing for my team, though, is again, the, all the kills are basically on me. And I kind of let uh, Gangplank die here because I just, I just really needed to get this Herald. So I secure it, get the Herald buff, I use my Snowball to uh, slam into the Nocturne, and then Echo's ultimate obliterates them. And then we just make way like thieves. So we go to a mids lane, this is where I summon Herald. We destroy it without really his help. But then he comes in and destroys the second turret, and that's a colossal gain for us. At this point now, I've gained map control from the enemy team, and there's not very much they can do. I, I could have gone for a gank or forced a scuttle crab there, but the enemy team was just hanging about. I did have to force my flash there to survive, but anyway, I go back in with my snowball, hit Annie, just, you know, start th throwing snowballs at her, and then, you know, just eat the dragon casually. There's nothing they can do to stop me. Then I pop my ultimate, and... Look at that damage. I love it. I've always loved Nunu's ultimate. One of my top five. Anyways, you can see me there. I buy the Hextech Proto Belt. That's kind of an item you can buy on Nunu. Kind of only when you're really snowballing. Ha ha ha. Bad joke. And it helps you quite a bit. Obviously to do a bit of damage. To close the gap and use your snowball. Here the Darius just gets absolutely destroyed, and uh, it's unfortunate that the Nocturne showed up. It was a good counter gank, but at this point, there's not much they can do to stop us. We have effectively made their weak, uh, their mid game extremely weak. I will give credit to my team too, because like the Echo was playing off my uh, my moves and whatnot, and he wasn't sitting around with the advantage the advantages gained, so he did well. And as a result, their mid game is pretty much weaker. I love this scene here because. I get absolutely tossed around and I get a and they kind of forget that they should not ignore my ultimate. They it's been happening a lot in a lot of my Nunu games where they use all their crowd control on me just because, you know, crowd control and then you get to use a fully unstoppable ultimate and it absolutely destroys them. You saw the amount of damage I did there. And I only have one AP item. It's ridiculous. Don't play AP Moomoo. Please don't. Play, just play Tank Moomoo. Uh, just Tank Tank Nunu. Damn, why I call it Moomoo? Well, Moomoo and Nunu are just kind of weird. Say Nunu and Moomoo five times real quickly. Nunu and Moomoo. Nunu, I can't even do it. So yeah, again, essentially at this point, map control has been absolutely dominated. I can run around like a madman without getting punished. Look at this scene. They are attacking me with everything they've got. They've even have to for they were able to get the fear off on me, so I wouldn't get my ultimate, but I still chunked them, and I just pretty much walked away from that nearly unscathed. The Tibbers was good food. At this point, it is absolutely miserable, and I could just turret dive. The Darius catches me to save the Annie, but again, that's just not a smart decision because I cannot die within that time frame, and once you pull me in, once you start the fight, I'm going to control you. Same thing here. I'm just spamming my snowball, just forcing them away, and they keep trying to do something, you know, I guess, fancy to stop me, and they get punished for it. Again, this has always been Nunu's mantra. Be a gigantic piece of shit. They really can't do anything to me at this point. And I can just go around causing shenanigans, throwing my body in the front of them, and just, be, again, being a general nuisance. Oh my god. I've, I've mi honestly missed playing Nunu. Again, I will say it again. Old Nunu was fun, but new Nunu is fun too. Here, they make one of the bigger mistakes, although I did mess up my hex deck proto build. They burn so much on me. An incredible amount. So then my team just sort of shows up and basically melts through them or at least you know so they, they do kill one of my teammates but then my teammates just absolutely giga destroy them this is what you never want to do against a tank let alone an aggro tank if you burn everything on them the what you get from killing them is so little in comparison to what you get from killing someone more important with those tools and without those tools you stand no chance against them so 
they lost the game for themselves. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, give it a like, and comment in the comment section below. Now, kind of a funny situation that's been happening is that I've been streaming far more than I've been uploading. It's interesting, I've been enjoying playing the game a lot more, of course, but also I haven't been uploading because it just feels kind of bad to upload the same champions over and over and over and over and over again. So I'm thinking maybe on an alternate account, I'll play a colorful bunch of champions. And on the main account, I'll focus strictly on winning with my best champions like Jarvan, Jarvan, and Jarvan. So you won't just get, you know, bombarded with Jarvan videos. Anyways, thank you for watching.